Good morning everyone and welcome to the latest Excitec BIM 360 surgery. Today it's number 21, would you believe it? And today we're going to take a look at the Insight module that comes with BIM 360. So this is the area where it gives you full project insights from design coordination to field related issues. So first and foremost, I'm in a sample project here and I can click the project home button on the top left and I've got this insight module. Now before I go into it, I'm gonna show you how you can activate this um, because it's not an actual module you activate, it's done through project admin. And when you look at the project admin and the members, you will see under the services, there is an insight module. So you can activate it for your particular project member. So you can actually give them admin or you can actually assign them member access. So that's how it's controlled. So um, your project admin will have it and they will be the admin of it and then you can assign it to the individual members of the team. And if it is assigned, then they will get this insight tab so if we jump into it let's have a little look at what this is so it's it's similar ish to project home in the fact that it, it's a series of cards that are placed on your screen so you can see here that i've got um, all these different tabs and you can see at the top it gives you a series of different tabs so you've got one called risk We've got one for design where it will show me the design content. We've got project control, so it'll show me all the RFIs. We've got quality. And then we have safety. And then we have the report side of things. So I just want to show you some stuff um, with regards to the the insight what what's that what it's actually given me so if we look at the risk tab so this is the preview of the Autodesk construction IQ module so this is where it uses intelligent information behind the scenes and it works out um, and predicts information um, based upon the info that you put in to get this working really well you need lots and lots of data and over a long period of time on this project my data is pretty thin but just to show you some stuff that it does do now this is all automatic and it's all autonomously done by BIM 360 so if we look at this water risk issues now I have not created that card that card has been created based upon the issues that I have added into the system so if we come out of here and we go to document management, so all the issues that I've been creating with regards to design construction. So if we click in here, you'll see any issue that I create, it's tracking. And what it's doing, it's looking at the contents of the issues. So I this is actually a checklist for the house that I live in and I've been using BIM 360 to do a snag list. So I've had a water drip in the cistern and then I had some leaks under the sink. So what the Insight module and Construction IQ has done, it's looked at them individual issues and worked out and categorised them as risks within the build with regards to water. So you can see it's categorised them automatically. It looks at the severity of the issues and the quality and it starts work so i've had two in may so six water risk issues 11 others so it's starting to predict where areas of risk may come in so that's what the the iq module is doing i will do a further surgery on this in in more detail if we look at the design tab you can see this is linking all the design related issues if i've got some so you can see i've got the design trends coordination issues we've also got project controls so again, it's just giving me more insight into what's happening with the RFIs, the submittals, when they're due, when they're not due. We've got quality. So again, this is looking at the I, issues that I'm creating and categorize them based upon the quality. So I've got 40 active issues. Now I've got 53. 
you can see in here I've got 59 close so it's tracking the progress we've got the activity versus added versus closed and then I've got all the ongoing product issues and you can see I've not been very good with me defining the issued causes and then we have safety so again this is looking at the the IQ side of things so it takes in information and if I've got my um, site stuff done with subcontractors it will all begin to assess risk so the insight just gives you a lot more information it's divided into tabs so you can easily jump to where you need to go a big part of the insight module is reports so in this instance I generate a report you can see weekly with all my issue details so you can actually build and create reports so I'm going to show you how to do that so I'm going to click in I'm going to go create report and you've got two different types you've got one for document management and one for project management so you can see when I click into project management I can give the details on the RFIs and submit so I'm going to start with the document management I've got issue detail so this will give me a full list of all the detailed issues in the field with all the attributes and attachments and this is really good if I've got photographs and any other um, attached items with each issue or I can just go with an issue summary so I'm going to start with the issue detail so I'm going to say let's create a report based upon all the issues click select and then we can go in and build the report so this is where we can actually choose what type of report do we want? So when I'm running reports on this project, I give my builder a list of all the open issues every week. So you can see that I can sort by ID. So I can go, okay, give me all the data based upon ID, but I can go sort them by status, um, type, subtype, due date. So what you could do is put it in by due date. I'm gonna run this one on ID, but you can see you can sort it on um, whatever you want and then you have a further sort mechanism where you can go status type subtype title and date What we can then do is filter by the type so if I want all the issues sorted by type But I just want let's say design issues I can click in here or I can scroll down and you can choose which issue that you want We can choose a status so I'm gonna say okay give me all the issues that are currently open I can choose locations if I've got them defined. So you can I've defined them on my system where I've got ground floor, first floor, outside. So I could choose, give me all the issues on the first floor. But I'm going to just leave it for everywhere at the minute. So I'm just going to clear that. I can go who are they assigned to. So I can choose the different people in my project. I can also choose the role and also the different companies. I can choose a due date. So I could say, okay, give me all the issues that were due yesterday or this week next week and you can see you've got quite a lot and you can also go in and pick a specific date range but i'm going to leave that i'm going to i just basically want to run a quick report to say i want all open issues in the last 60 days or i can choose and clear it so i don't need so i can just say okay give me a report with all open issues i can click the run now button or I can save it and I can save report and run or what I can do is go in and share and schedule but before I do that what I can do is I can give this a name so I could say um, let's put today's date in so it's the 25th and I could say all open issues click the tick and let's just go and run that report so you can see now it's now preparing the report you will see it here you've got the little report being prepared so what it will do it will go off and run that report in the meantime I'm going to go in and create another report let's say we want a project management and I want detail of all the RFIs I click select and it will now launch so again, I've got a similar type of situation, so I can choose and sort. So I'm gonna go again, sort by the ID. I'm gonna go, give me all the submitted and open RFIs. Created by, again, similar principle, you pick the different people. And I'm going to choose, no date, I want all of them together. So I want all open and 
submitted RFIs. And then again, I can run now. What you can also do is you can share and schedule. So I could say, that, okay, this run, I want to run this to Jonathan. And I want that every week. And I'm going to say I want it every Monday. And we want that at 8.30 a.m. And I want to run it from today. And I want to run it until April 2020. Let's take it to the end of the year. You can see that you can also say I want to Tuesday, Wednesday. So I could go run this report every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And actually we'll just go and we'll just update this and just say that it is Monday and Friday. Click the tick and we go run now. And BIM 360 will go off and start to run these reports. You will see that. This one, 25th of October, all open issues is done. So I can click the three dots. I can go download. It'll download my report. We have to go to the desktop, click save. Click our PDF. And there we have. So you will see we've got our company logo. We've got the site, the title of a report. And then it does this little front sheet, which is really quite good. Because you can see oh, eight items in the report. You can see how it's sorted, how it's filtered. Then we get this hyperlinked title sheet. So I can go crack in plasterboard. And you can see it automatically goes. So this issue that I've chosen, because I've went for the full report, you can see that there's a crack in the plasterboard. I created it on the 18th of October. And you can see there's the photo that's uploaded. And if we scroll down, and you'll get to see all the little problems with my actual house. So I've got a problem with the patio door, problem with the seal, and you can see all the issues are then created into a really simple report. And you can see that, you can see I've got problems with my floor squeaking and it's actually 98 days late in terms of them fixing it. So if we go back to look at the report, you'll see this one is still generating but let's go in and create another one so you can see if I want an issue summary we can click select and again you build your reports that are there so we could say let's sort it by due date and we go status all open location first floor include sub locations and I could say clear the date range. All open issues and I can save the report. You'll see once it's saved, it goes into the save tab. So once you click into saved, you will see there's the report. So once it's saved, you can then just run that whenever you wish. So if you've got a saved report, click it. And you just click run now and off the system will go and run and generate these issues. So you can see these are still generating. They do take a minute or two. What will also happen on running of these reports, if I quickly check my email, and I route everything into a BIM 360 folder. And we jump straight in here. You will see that I've got a, an email to say that this report has been run. And I can simply click the download link from the email. So we can click download. You will see there you get your open issues. And there you get your PDF report. So the issue summary has run. The RFI is taking a little bit of time, but on this open issues, I can click three dots, click download, click save, and let's have a quick look and see what we have got. So in this report, all open issues, one on the first floor, and you can see it's a crack in the plasterboard, and there you have. So this is the issue summary, so it brings it into a more table format, and there you have your very simple report 
quickly generated out of the insight module so this one I'm just gonna let this finish and hopefully we can then demonstrate and show what this looks like I'm just gonna refresh it and see if that will speed it up I'll just shut these down. It does seem to be taking a little bit of time. You can see there it's run. You can see that there is a little logo now to represent that there is recipients. And you can see, you can check that it's going to two different people. So let's have a look at the RFI. We click download. And we save it. And you can see similar principle, all open and submitted RFIs three in the report you can see that I've got the issues here and then I've submitted and it gives a full history of all the activities so if you've attached and so this one's open so I need a SUDS report you can see that it's open it's submitted and if you've got all the questions the co-reviewers locations any reference drawings they will all be linked and reported in there so that's pretty much me for today. So just a little bit of insight into the insight module and looking at how we can create the reports and schedule them out to the wider project team. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, join me again next Friday for another BIM 360 and I hope you all have a great weekend. See you again soon.